Hi guys, um, let's talk about the fundamental counting principle, so I abbreviated that FCP, fundamental counting principle, that idea that I can multiply the number of choices together, but this time we're going to do it with some repetition, okay? So here's a problem, the standard configuration for a Texas license plate is one letter followed by two digits followed by three letters. So if I was going to go through and like kind of map it out just to draw a picture for myself, I have a letter here, two digits, so two numbers, and then three letters. Okay, and the idea is this, I want to figure out how many different license plates are possible in the state of Texas if letters and digits can be repeated. And so what I know then is like for the letters, there are 26 letters in our alphabet, so I have 26 choices here. And if it doesn't matter that letters can be repeated, so in other words, if this can be an A and this can also be an A, that means I still have 26 choices here, and I have 26 choices here, and I have 26 choices here. As far as numbers go, there are 10 digits to choose from, zero, 1 through 9 are the first 9 that have 0 as well. So there are 10 numbers that I could choose for these two spots. And all I'm going to do for the fundamental counting principles is, is says, I have 26 choices here, 10, 10, 26, 26, 26. I'm going to multiply those all together, and that's going to give me a pretty big number here. But that tells me it should be a big number, by the way, because there are a lot of people in Texas that are driving, a lot of vehicles. But it tells me how many choices I have overall. So I'm going to take 26. I'm going to raise it to the fourth power because that gives me my four 26s, right? One, two, three, four. I'm going to multiply it times 10 and then times another 10. So I'm just going to multiply by 100. I get four, five, six, nine, seven, six, zero, zero. So some commas in there. 45,697,600 choices of license plates. So I can handle up to 45 million drivers or so before I run out of license plates and I got to do something different. Now that's all fine and dandy, but the question could be asked a little bit different. Okay, How many different license plates are possible if letters and digits cannot be repeated? So the key here is the fact that if an A is used in the first digit, it can't be used in the second spot. We have, once again, six spots to choose from. Letter, 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 two numbers. If the letters and digits can't be repeated, what happens is this. The first time I use a letter, I have 26 choices. But the second time I have a letter, let's say that this is an A, that means the A is gone. That means I only have 25 choices remaining for the second letter. Now there's two choices gone, which means I only have 24 spots remaining, four, 24 choices. And the last spot, same rule, I only have 23 choices. As far as the numbers go, I have 10 choices for the first number, but after one of those digits is used, say like the number 5 or something, now I only have 9 choices remaining for this one. And so our problem becomes a little bit different. I have these values that I need to multiply together instead. So in other words, I'm going to adjust it whenever things cannot be repeated. So that's something to keep in mind. So what is 26 times 10 times 9 times 25 times 24 times 23? Right? What I got here. And the answer is 32,292,000. So I can only handle 32 million drivers if I don't allow repeating of digits or letters. If I do allow for repeating of digits or letters, now I'm up to 45 million choices. So I got a few more options. Hopefully that makes sense. That's the second video. Um, in the third video, we're going to kind of switch gears a little bit and talk about something called factorials because this is going to be very important for the, for the second day of notes.